Hello there, my name is Claire and welcome back to my channel where I talk about my transition, I give you tips and help you transition as well. Today I would like to talk to you about fashion and what you can do to get the best out of your outfit and pass better. I will show you my essentials and talk to you about the do's and don'ts because I have some strong opinions in fashion. I am picky and I will judge everyone who looks awful. Of course, I'm just sharing my opinions. If some of my don'ts are do's for you, absolutely fine. If you want to keep dressing like trash, it's not my problem. First off, let's show you my essentials. Number one, a padded sports bra. They look hideous sometimes. Let's not fucking kid ourselves. But you can fake boobs. And especially in the beginning when you are freshly transitioning, you're like one month in and nothing has happened yet. You can really fake a little bit of boobery and no one on the street will know if it's real or not. And it really helped me keep patient and I wish I would have gotten one sooner. Next up, these. Spanx. If you don't have Spanx, run to the Spanx shop and get them. These things are stretchy, you can wear them under pants if your pants like show too much. Or you can wear them under skater skirts and then you will have your mind off of things and no one can like see, if you know what I mean. With those, they don't work for everything, which is why I will show you my next essential now. This is when things go too bad, okay? Jarts. If you're wearing a very thin fabric summer dress like I do, you need to wear jeans shorts under. They can take all of the problems away. No one will see anything downstairs because they create a whole different silhouette. They can like flatten all of the uneven things that you don't want people to see and they're more effective than the Spanx. Spanx are like kind of a light solution but if you have a long dress or a long skirt or a medium skirt, I swear on those. They are like my number one essential. Make sure though that they are high-waisted and have a thick fabric and that you feel comfortable in them. Because if you have very thin fabric jean shorts and you can see like everything through them, get another pair, okay? There's a pair out there for you. I got mine from Arma Outfitters. By the way, the denim there is great. Very thick fabric. I feel comfortable in those pants usually and I wish they would sponsor me. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into my do's and don'ts and don't be offended because I'm pretty. First up, low-waisted pants, boy pants, whatever. If you still have an old pair of pants that you wore before transitioning, throw that shit away. DEATH! You cannot make these work. You cannot hide your downstairs in these, or I find it very hard at least. And they swallow every kind of curve illusion that you could like give with high-waisted pants. They're not worth it. I, I can't do it. Also, crop tops, the gap is way too big. Instead, get high-waisted pants, baggy pants, mom jeans, whatever. Just make it high-waist, thick fabric, and make sure you have a lot of space down there in order to feel comfortable. Because when I walk through the city and I wear a pair of pants that I don't fully feel comfortable in, I will constantly look down to check if anything is visible. I'm tired of that. You cannot tolerate a piece of clothing that makes you feel like shit in your everyday life, okay? Remember, you are wearing the clothes, okay? The clothes should not wear you. Next up, t-shirts. Girl. You know, I love an oversized t-shirt, okay? I love to have like a little ready to glare moment where I have like this 3XL t-shirt, but when I go out, it uh, gives me the most gender dysphoria that I could possibly have. It swallows my boobs, it swallows my confidence, and I feel like a homeless person. And I don't know how cis girls can pull it off, but I feel like I will be dead named and I will be misgendered. If I go out with the skater look, it's over. And it's really sad, but clothing is more than half of passing, okay? If you have a good outfit that really accentuates your curves and all of your feminine parts, <coughs> it can do all the work for you, okay? So don't underestimate fashion ever. There's one situation though in which I will allow a t-shirt, okay? And it's when you have like a sports bra and you tuck your t-shirt in. This can fake like a boob area and it's very feminine coded, so there's no way. There's no way. It's just It just looks feminine, okay? So this is something where I that I can fuck with, you know? Next cropped tank tops with a high neckline. Ah! Girl, I will eat my own shit. I have personal beef with them because when I used to twink, not be on hormones yet, and I was pre-transition, I used to wear these all the time. They kind of are the reason that my egg cracked. I feel like now it's hard to make them work, okay? Because they're giving non-binary, they're giving twink. I, I can't with those. They are either too tight and will compress the boobery that you do have, or they're too loose and then you have a triangle titty 
Kim Possible situation, and we're not doing that. We're not, not doing, doing that. that. Okay, okay. And again, one condition under which you can wear those, and I have noticed, okay, that usually I hate those. But when you have your sports bra, one of my essentials with pads, it looks like you have a lot of boobs, and then I feel like they can really work. And when I see cis women walking around, by the way, you always have to look around what the cis girls are wearing, okay? If you're not sure what to wear, look at what the cis people wear. When I see those on cis girls and they have like huge boobs, I'm like, wow, they can really bring out the boobs if you do have boobs. But if you're like on the beginning of your transition and you do not have boobs yet, Either fake it or stay away and find something else. Because I don't have a lot of boobery going on, but for example, in this dress, it looks like I do. Big boobs! Because there's definitely something there and people can see it. You always have to work with what you have. Next, the thin fabric situation. Okay, this for example, I'm wearing a very thin fabric summer dress, which up here very great we love to see it it's like high-waisted as well here so that also can create like a bit of curves so that's great okay but the fabric of the skirt is very thin so if you walk and there's wind against you and you do have a sheenness like uh most trends i shouldn't say that word <laughs> you might think that spanks work but they don't, okay? It's not enough. For very thin fabric and longer skirts, I recommend that you wear jeans shorts under or like full on jeans, but no one does that. <laughs> because the fabric of the jeans is so thick and it goes like around your entire lower body. So it can kind of even out all of the bumps. Only thing we do have is like the jeans seam, but it's fine. Keep it real, these bitches cut and wipe my ass. It might not be the most elegant solution, but it is what it is. Okay, next up, shirts. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. If you have male shirts, I'm sorry, but they have to go. To hell. Generally avoid any male clothing, to be honest. If you got an oversized one, like I do, and you're like, oh my god, I'm so small and so petite. <laughs> Girl, don't even donate that shit, burn it. These things will make you look boxy, they will accentuate your shoulders, they will do none of the good things, okay? They might, like, feel cute and you're, you can, like, I don't know, for days when you want to be left alone and you want no one to look at you, it's, it's good, okay? But, like, I feel like they bring out the dysphoria in the worst way for me, and I only have one of them, and it's, like, it's even, you know, it's purple, but it still doesn't work for me, okay? It's, like, I'm so specific with clothing, it's awful. But like with those, I the only tip I can give, stay away or get a Belinda. I gravitate towards Belinda because Belinda just has the biggest impact. Only then, because you need like something to create a waistline and with those shirts, they're like going very boxy, so no. Unless you have a belt, no. It's because of her, my sisters and I all wear our vaginas proudly. Wait, we can just tuck it in, what the fuck? I feel like Laurie Strode. Okay, next big point is probably one of the biggest that makes me fucking cry at night. Overdressing. Because you can definitely overdo it. We know what I look like on this channel. I kind of overdo it sometimes. Now from the top, make it drop, that's some wet ass pussy. I will get looks, okay? But like not the good ones. People will look very closely at you, they will examine you, and then they might find out that you are trans because none of the cis girls really dress like this. I don't really I don't really see a lot of very hyper feminine cis girls. They're like out there wearing jeans, a crop top or a t-shirt or a sweater, and that's it with sneakers. And the thought of that makes my skin crawl because I cannot always overdress and look like a hooker, even though I would love that. But sometimes you have to like dress down and chill a little of course we grew up we couldn't do any of the feminine stuff and now it's new and exciting and we want to do it but girl you can really shoot yourself in the foot with that one so yeah try and dress a little more casual then you will fly under the radar and you will have your peace okay and that sometimes that's nice Next, sweaters. I have a lot of loose sweaters that I love, especially for at home and in the fall. It's very cozy, but they unfortunately swallow boobs a lot and every kind of curve that you have going on. What do we do with those? We can't do the bra trick, we know, okay? We can't really crop them. So what do we do? Instead of looking for loose sweaters, get ones that are like high-waisted that are like cut and have their seam here. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass.
But so get a feminine cut sweater or tuck it into your high waist jeans. That's also a solution if the fabric is not too thick. Or get these very loose knit feminine fit sweaters that can like kind of go off the shoulder or whatever. I like stuff with a feminine cut. It makes me feel better about myself, okay? Another point, jewelry, girl. I love jewelry, okay? I wear a lot. If you layer a lot, I feel like it can really, especially if you have a casual outfit on, it can really upgrade your casual outfit and bring some femininity into it. If you wear earrings, a lot of necklaces, and you layer them nicely so they look like well put together. So jewelry, I like a jewelry. I can recommend it, period. Next, another do. I didn't really separate, but like, I love a mixed bag. I love a mixed bag. Next up, tops with a low neckline. I absolutely fucking love those. They can really accentuate this area, make your shoulders look less wide, and make your boobs look better. If you show some cleavage, girl, again, feminine clothing, half of passing, okay? Also, last point, if your outfit sucks, put some Doc Martens on. Always try it on with your favorite pair of shoes and see how it looks afterwards. What I notice a lot when I look at people is that I am obsessed with shoes. If I see someone with Doc Martens, I'm like, okay, you're probably a lesbian who works at Lush. I love you, skinny queen. So yeah, maybe you want to look into shoes too, I don't know. They're also a great way of connecting the outfit. So if you have black boots with blue jeans, you can like pick up the color of the top again. So we love that. If you pay attention to detail, I love that shit. And if you match like your, your eye look as well, skinny. And lastly, I would like to thank my patrons of tier three who support me with five bucks a month. Thank you so much for your support. If anyone else would like to support me, the link is in the description, but don't feel pressured. I love every one of my viewers. So yeah, I hope I helped you a little bit with my tips and you like the outfits that I've shown you. My name is Claire. I'm here for you every other week. And if you have any more questions, call us, email us, or just come to New Orleans. We have a home and a family for you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm.